Welcome back. A Nashville-based company is looking to bring more solar energy to Houston County. Silicon Ranch Valley brought the Houston Solar Project and Lamb Barn to Elko. Now they want to bring another big project to Kathleen. Megan Western shares one man's concerns for the project. Being outside is in John Trussell's nature. You know, my mom said go outside and play and she meant it. So I spent uh, my, my youth uh, in the outdoors hunting and fishing. And when the Oakie Woods Wildlife Management Area opened back in the 1960s, he made it his habitat. It became part of who I am and uh, it's just a great place to come and enjoy nature. Now he says there's so much to come love. You can actually camp here for free if you have a hunting or fishing license. And he's thankful for the trees that were almost torn down years ago. And we started the group Save Oaky Woods, and we worked with the uh, government and local officials to, to have this purchased by the state. Since then, he's been working to save the park, writing a book, saving Oaky Woods, and most recently renovating the fire tower. It's now part of the uh, historic uh, fire tower registry uh, that you can see online. Plus, they're working to welcome a bathroom space on the campgrounds. All that work to protect Oakey Woods is not done yet, as developers are now hoping to build a new solar farm nearby. I think people should be strongly opposed to it. Trussell says he isn't against the proposal. I love electricity. I love it when I turn on the, the switch and, uh, you know, the light comes on. He's against it near Oaky Woods and worries it'll hurt animals. Back in the 80s, we only estimated we had about maybe 65 bears here. So we now, now have around 300 bears. Who he says needs space to live and find food freely. He hopes all his preservation work and the beloved park won't be lost. In Houston County, Megan Western, 13 WMAZ News. Ben Oberman with Silicon Ranch says they submitted a project proposal to county planning and zoning. Trussell says it should be on the June 24th agenda at 5.30 p.m.